Well, good evening again. Uh, welcome to Midford Pottery. This is part two of our marbleized clay. So tonight we will be trimming and fitting handles to our recently thrown marbleized clay pots. So we'll get you down on the wheel so we can see what we're going to do tonight. Got a few to trim. So we may have some nice music and a bit of speeded up stuff. We shall also have the action cam for another angle as well. So let us begin. So as you can see we have uh, two mugs which we did. We have a bowl And a little sort of pic pitcher slash jug with a pot and spout on. So they're just about there to trim. And we did. We had a little bit of clay left, so we did a little, a little bud vase. So just a little bit of trim on that. So we shall put them to one side. So. Go for this fella first. So get them. What I want to do, uh, we'll just measure the base. I think it's quite a thin base. So see how much we've got up there. Yeah, very thin. Very thin, very thin. So this is literally just going to trim that edge off. And we shall use our cutting grip just because we have one. And we'll get our action cam in position. That'll do us. So we'll start the other camera. And here we go. Sure, this is sitting flush. Sometimes it doesn't, which is very annoying. Like tonight, it doesn't want to sit flush, does it? tools, multi tool and a bottle cap. So this will be a quick trim so it's literally just to carve that bottom bit off because it's quite thin. So applying downward pressure while we just Literally, it's just to smooth that edge off, and that for that one is it. So, we'll have a zoom in on the action cam. So, it's literally just to take that, that rough edge off, then wet thumb just to knock the edge off again. And what we do need, which I did forget, is our stamps to put our name and date on. So, 3D printed stamps. It's literally... that in there and I always go opposite and put the date in I like so so you get that on the bottom there you 
go. One down. One down. Put him over there. Next cup. A slightly different shape. A bit flared. In the middle. Let's see if it's. Uh, Didn't do it. see how much uh, I've got to play with this as well. Stick in the bottom, go like that. Yeah, very thin bottom on this one as well. Again, we'll just knock that round edge off just to get a nice profile. Like so. Look up there. Got a little line there. Just to get rid of that bit there. Done. Stamps on. So we'll get a close up of that one. That's that. Marblins there. Uh, Seems to be coming out quite well. Yeah, what we do next? Do the ball next. That's a bit, a bit deeper. So this should have a bit more. Yeah. So this one be able to carve more of a foot into it. Because we've got a bit more to clear with. Yes. Lovely. I uh, will change to a wire tool for this. So I'll we'll just, uh, we'll just carve this bit. One thing I have noticed with marble ice clear, it's quite hard to see where you've carved. And that'll do us. Yeah. So we'll carve the inside.
bit deeper on that, I think. widen that out a little bit. off here. So done. Well, mobilizing's coming out quite good on that leg. Might just uh, just run the tool up the side of there. Just do short. Blizing out, just bring it out a little bit more. Like so, oh yes, that's much better. Much better. Much better. Lovely. Very nice. So again. Stump. Um, initials. Did. There you are. There's that foot there. Nice. Marble eyes and coming out lovely on that one. That's that one done. Next we go the little jug. So there's quite a bit of weight in the, in the bottom of there to take out I think. So let's have a look. So I've got about three quarters of an inch to play with there. So, so this is taller. Put our extenders on. Right. 
now. Foot. I think we'll carve. small foot in like so. I'll do it for that bit. this fella That will do us for that. So we'll just try and clear or we'll make this marble a bit more pronounced. It, no more in case we break it. See, it could have been a bit, a bit cleaner getting the slip off round here. 
So we'll tackle that later on. I get a stamp on it. Oh, that's thin. That is very thin. So, so that's the end of our trimming part of this video, so join us in the next clip when we'll be attempting to put some handles on. See you in a bit. Well, must have bought, ran out of power on the action cam. So, finished attaching that handle, so like a D, D shape handle. Looking good, put them upside down so it doesn't uh, get too much out of shape. And can you see what I'm doing with a backup camera in place? So, what I am going to do, I'm going to put a very small handle on the bud vase, if my battery lasts, we'll, we'll, I'll not show you the cup because it's just the same as the other one, so we'll do the little bud vase first, and then we'll call it a quits on this video because it's going to be quite long, so just that little off cut, so I'm going to put it right at the top, One thing I have noticed, the marble eyes clear, because you use loads of slip and the slip's obviously not marbleized. it's just how it is, whatever colour it is, it, you tend to lose a bit of marbleization where you've attached stuff, but that's what it looks like at the minute anyway. Oh, see what they like when they dry. It's literally a really small, it's not so much of a handle, just a bit of a feature. I saw Simon Leach doing it on some of his, so hey, copy off the big fella. It's flattery, I'm not just ripping them off. I'm trying to emulate him, as they say. So that's that, and just got to attach this bottom bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut that like so. That's going to go on there. Just scratch that. Slip. Slip. It's quite thin, so I've got my finger inside so I don't squash it completely. And that. bud vase with a little handle. So I'll finish that off in a minute. Hello welcome back to Mitford Pottery. 
just a bit of an update we had a bit of a camera faux pas the other day so it's just to catch up on our handles we attached to the marbleized clear so it's just a gear run through what we've got so did the d-shape handle on that one the jug has got handle on it now like so we had our other cup and the fancy handle on so no cracks so far just got to keep an eye on them the dish or the little bowl decided to put a handle like that on it see how that turns out and the bud vase got a little handle on that a la Simon Leach so so far they're looking okay and that is it for this video and as always if you've got a bit of clear left you can make a brush holder very handy again thanks for watching like subscribe comment below hope you've enjoyed all this marbleization stuff i'm quite taken with it actually it's a good effect show you some results when the when the bisque fired see, if, see what they come out like so until then good night and i'll see you in the next video thanks very much